All right, so what we're going to take a look at in this film, in this video, uh, will be the appearance panel and graphic styles. Okay, so pretty much your appearance panel is an interesting thing. And again, what we'll find a lot of times in Illustrator and in Photoshop is that Dreamweaver Auction, all the Adobe programs for the most part, we'll find that there are a couple different ways to do the same thing. And sometimes there are different features that are put in that really help with our workflow. And the appearance and the graphic styles windows are two that really do do this. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to come to window and let's open up appearance. And let's and actually we see graphic styles opens also. Okay, so here we go. Appearance, graphic styles, there they are. All right, so why don't we begin? All right, so we can see that no matter what we do when we work with our shapes, uh, that they actually have an appearance on them. And this appearance, and we've received this information, a lot of times we just work with this information through our toolbars, but this information is also stored in the appearance panel. All right, so let's take a look. Let's do a couple things on this um, image here. And let's see what happens to our appearance panel. Now, not only that, but there's all of these different effects. When we come to this, which is um, the little symbol for effects, there's all of these effects that are down in here um, that we can apply to our images. So let's try this out. So we start, we come in, we can choose a color. Okay, we look at our appearance, we see our fill has changed up. And I actually didn't even apply that. So why don't I do it again? Uh, can I can see that I'm changing my fill right in here. I actually like to come in here because you can kind of get into the color picker and choose something. That's a nice color. Okay, now I could also come in over here and I could lower the opacity. Okay, and you're going to see also when you come in this way that you have all, you have some other options too. And you can see if it's going to change. A lot of these we're going to see um, in Photoshop. I'm just going to keep it at normal. You can play around with that. Um, now there's other things to isolate blending, to do an opacity and mass define knockout shape, a knockout group. And you can see as you hover that this actually um, prevents blending modes from being applied past the bottom of a group. Um, this causes an element of shape by the opacity setting and masks. Okay, this is an interesting one, which I could do another video on. And this one right here prevents the elements of a group from showing through each other. Okay, so there's a lot of different interesting things in this panel. Now, let's come on in. I'm going to up the stroke. Put this up at three points. Up again, this wasn't selected. So you got to have it, I have to have this selected. Okay, now what I can also do is I can add another stroke too. Um, and when we come into here, we can actually come in here and add a new stroke. Now I could change the color of this stroke. I'm going to make it five and I'm going to change the color to blue. Okay, we have this stroke at three, stroke at six. Okay, so let's see, when we zoom it on in, okay, we can see that we have our black in and around this shape up. Again, it's gotta be selected. Okay, let's up this black a little bit. Okay, all right, we can even add another stroke. Um, We could change the color and then you know we can make our stroke size again I got to be on the shape to do it 
Okay, so there's a lot that we can do. And even, you know, as we come into that stroke window, we're going to find, you know, that there's that we have other options that we don't really see when we're just on the uh, the window. So there really is a lot that is here. Um, I, actually, I don't want to click that one. Okay. All right. So now we come on into this guy right here. And what we can say is that hmm, there are all of these other images. Now, when we rasterize an object, that would be getting it for, um, you know, Photoshop or such. But there's a lot of things in here, and I encourage you to come in and to play around with them. You can do 3D, pretty easy. You can just preview. Okay, see it's turning it 3D. Uh, that one doesn't look as good. Uh, some of the other ones that I've seen, because it's there's, you know, convert it to a shape. So if we were to convert it to a rounded rectangle, we come in, we preview, we can see it happening on the outside edge. Okay. Now there's some other things here too. For instance, there's an entire effect gallery. Well, we could put a drop shadow on our object. Okay. And I have it all, it's offset. All right, so let's hit OK. All right, now again, we see our drop shadow in here. Um, and now let's do another one. There's brush strokes. Right, let's, let's see how this looks. All right, so this is the whole filter gallery, too, that is in Photoshop. For anyone who's worked in Photoshop, um, and we could come in and look some of these different things that are here. All right, let's do the, we'll hit angled strokes. Let's, we can up the edge width. We'll hit OK. All right, so again, there's a lot that is here. Now, um, this one is really look, focusing in on the edge, um, but there's a lot in here that we can do. All right, so now I've created this button kind of shape. Uh, and just to take another quick peek here, there's brush strokes. You can distort the image. Um, anyone who's played around in Photoshop's effect guide, this is really what it's like. There's brush strokes. We just went distort. There's pixelating. They're sharpening it. We can sketch it so it's plaster, torn edges, water paper, stylize, texture, and then video. Uh, now what we can see again is that all of these are all saved within this appearance panel. Now this is where our graphic styles panel comes into play. Okay, because what we might want to do is we might want to take this and we want, might want to say, you know what, I'm going to make this into a graphic style. I'm going to explain to a graphic style what a graphic style is to you. Now, now what a graphic style is, is we can save the effects we do and then we can take those effects and apply them to another object. So I click save. Here is my new graphic style right here. I could double click it. I can name it. Um, All right, so now, now how does this work? Well, this is how it works. I'm going to show you. So I can now come in and I can draw a shape. Okay, and then I can just apply this graphic style. Okay, so really anything that I draw though, okay, I can come in here and I can work with my pen tool. And let me see, I actually have two of these little objects that I did with my pen tool. So I could take this object right here and I could apply, uh-oh, I could apply my graphic style. Well, this one that I did right here. Actually, let me come over here. And, now what's interesting is the ones that you do, edit, copy, edit, paste. All right, so when you create a graphic style, it's going to be with the object that you have. Now we could also bring it over to another document, but all right, so we click this. 
right now it is rasterized my artwork but we can see now that graphic style was applied to this object okay all right let's see I zoom it on in All right, now this image was rasterized. Now that that is one of the things that happens with some of these effects is they they no longer um, they they because they become ras they can become rasterized. But we still do see that the paths are here. Um, some of the part portions of it will become rasterized though, and we can always tell when something becomes rasterized when we zoom it on in. This might even be just. Uh, the loose edge too so okay with that said we come into our next object and actually before I do that and explore that image I want to just take a look at some of these graphic styles that are stored within Illustrator okay so we come to our graphic styles panel and there's a whole bunch of these and let's just come in to artistic effects and let's click and what we can see is that these all, we can see these are all of the effects that were put on to this object. Okay, now let's actually draw one and take a look at some of these. So we draw, I'm going to apply this graphic style. It's like a, a watercolor, a charred paper. We can see it has the fill, it has a stroke, and then it has uh, opacity. Now, when we come into here, we can see, though, that it's roughened, it's tweaked, it's got an inner glow to it, um, and those are all the different things that were done with that. Let's take a look at another one and see what's here. Um, and I, actually, there we go. Let me put this one. All right, so we have this image right here, and we can zoom it on in, and we see we have this polka dotted blur. Um, and again, same thing, we come in and we can see all the things that were done. There's the radial blur. If I turn the radial blur off, it's just a nice polka dot. Um, it has plastic wrap over it, which we can get that sense when we look at it. Now, another thing that we could do is we could actually take a symbol that's already created and we can break it too. Uh, we, can, we can break the link. So this is how we break the link. It says, break link to graphic style. Okay, and then we can come in and, you know, we can take certain parts off of it and, you know, move it around, change it around, use it as we want to. So that's another kind of thing. Once the link is broken, uh, you know, I could then come in. I feel like it's probably all grouped. Let's see, object. Okay. Well, there we go. We could take certain things off of it. Okay, so that's the story with the graphic styles, and there are, there are many. Okay, again, we can look and we can see and get a sense of all of the possibilities that are here within this. Now, the reasoning with this whole um, thing too, why would we want to use this? Well. Maybe we're going to create an effect, an appearance on an object, and then we're going to want to repeat it over again. That is one of the reasons. Okay, and again, you can come in and you can see. Now, again, something to keep in mind, though, is that some of these effects do have, are, have a portion that end up rasterizing your image a bit. Not always, but sometimes.